It's like that one thing. It's like, are you an R pirate or a yo ho ho pirate? I can't do an accent. Yo, it's Bicaro. Welcome back to another video. Today we are on r slash mildly infuriating. I think I've only watched, I mean, obviously I love watching the click and one topic at a time. So they've probably gone on this, but the reason I'm on here is because of Jacksepticeye. I just find it funny. This pretty much uh, <laughs> just describes his mentality throughout the videos. I am not as funny, but I will still try. Had a pen in my pocket at work. No, I hate that. Like, how did this happen? Is the thing. Did. Because, like, it's kind of spread over here. Did you, like, grab at your pants? Either way. Oh, imagine getting that out of your skin. Oh, uh, I, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, come on, people. There is an 11-day bin man strike in Edinburgh, and this is only day two. Most of the city is like this. Uh, but, oh, like people who clean the streets. What? What is this? The bin man strike. Bin man strike. What is this? This was a day- this was like a day or two ago. Strikes and pay dispute. Okay, okay, okay. So just these services are going on a strike until 30th of August. That's in a few days. Dang. So they're getting paid so badly that this is already day two. Yeah, this was posted like almost a day ago. This is only day two. Okay, 11 days. I can't count. The thing is also people aren't even trying to make it easier for anybody, they're just throwing it everywhere and being terrible people, just in general. <laughs> what, 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 what am I looking at? What am I looking at? These nachos I ordered from a local pizza place. Okay, I've had nachos maybe once in my life. Isn't there supposed to be a lot of cheese in that cheese supposed to be all the two onion pieces are a nice touch? <laughs> Oh, that's just insulting. Don't undersell, don't undersell them. They gave OP three whole onion pieces and a shred of lettuce. Where's the lettuce, dude? It's a quintessential part of the nacho ex quintessential part of the nacho experience. This is... This is upsetting me. Also, where are they seeing any type of lettuce or like non-chopped up onion piece? I'm literally not seeing that. I can't be extremely mad because I haven't had nachos enough times in my life to understand the level of upsetting that this is. Because to me, you just gave me like a bunch of chips with some grated cheese. Like, this is fine for me. But I'm assuming not if what you want is nachos. I, I can't even drive yet and I'm already upset. How my waiter accidentally ruined my card. What did he do to it? It looks like he took a pen and then just like stabbed at it. What? I've never looked at my credit card like, ah yes, this looks like a delectable snack to add to my salad. But why won't it stick to my fork? God damn it. What happened? Angriest monk. <laughs> Bro, what happened? Yeah, because like, yeah, it looks like a fork. I was I said a pen, but actually a fork makes more sense. What did they do and why? Oh no, what is this? Yeah, I cannot. Three shirts from Spencer's. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to blur this, but um... It is not a shirt. <laughs> it is, it's very much not a shirt. That, that is not, it is a six inch, I would assume, 15 centimeter non-shirt. Is a $60, 24% tip not fair enough for a $250 hair, hair appointment? I've been going to this salon regularly since I was in high school, so it's been about seven years that I am there regular. I like the salon because this one stylist is very skilled. I always get a perm and a cut from him, and I'm always satisfied of the result. The perm and the hair nutrition costs $250. I usually tip them 20% to 25%, or even over 30%. The funny thing about this salon is that whenever a customer needs to pay, all the stylists and workers who aren't doing something all come up to the front and I'm always kind of pressured to tip them lots. They also only receive tip in cash, which I find myself lazy to get some cash, but I understand their side. 
I also always tip the shampoo lady at least three dollars every time. You sound like a delightful being, but now I'm concerned for what I'm about to read. I've been a regular for a quite long time, and I've never once complained or been late to the appointments or something like that. I don't overly talk or interfere when they are working. I think I'm just, I think I'm just a chill customer. They've never once offered any drink or small treatment sample as a regular. Anyhow, all of this didn't matter because I liked the hair since today. As the title says, I decided to pay $60.24 for the regular 250 perm session today. I tipped the shampoo lady today as well. The workers and my stylist were all watching me pay today too. That's, no, don't do that, please don't. Just, just don't, no, don't do that, please. Then the worker was showing me my tip and asked me if this is all. I was confused because I thought I calculated the tip wrong or something, but it was 24%, all right. But I knew she was requesting more. So I just gave her 10 more dollars, so 28% of tip now. I didn't want to fight them or anything because the stylist is the only one I'm is the only one I am satisfied with my hair. However, I felt like that was rude and I kind of I feel kind of robbed. Like it's not even about the money, it was just the worker's attitude. Am I overreacting? Thank you all. Thank you for all your comments. I realized it was disrespectful. Yeah, this is very rude. Oh, four six. Hello. That is. There's <laughs> more and more people just piling in. <laughs> this is... Don't go back here completely, right? That was trashy. You are definitely- you're, I'm, you're probably tipping way more than anybody there does. And the fact that they were trying to like get more out of you is just crappy on so many levels. I don't even want to read what it says. The loaf, the loaf of bread came with one free extra slice and a separate plastic pen. Oh wait, so you got this along with your free sample of a different formulation. I just don't see why it's necessary. I don't know if it would annoy me per se. I just don't see why it's necessary. I would do this to somebody the way my wife eats cinnamon rolls. I would do this to somebody I absolutely freaking hated. Or if I really wanted to annoy somebody, we got like a prank war going on, I would do this. What am I looking at? Landlord didn't know he wasn't paying a water bill. A water company guy came, reported fraud and took the water pipe with him. Wait, so now nobody in that area has water? No water sucks a lot, but also he took the meat. Like he really just took the whole freaking thing and was like, y'all aren't paying. It's funny though, so this guy was excited about saying the word fraud and taking action to stop the crime. He's been waiting years to be able to do that. Honestly, props to that guy. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I thought this was the floor. I, th I panicked and thought these were a bunch of like cockroaches or frogs or something and that this was on the floor. Okay. It's, it's fine, we're fine. Ask my roommates to plant it for two weeks. I come back to- th All those plants are dead. All those plants are dead. Ship graveyard simulator. Good thing you didn't ask me to piss. <laughs> Babies and someone should adult sit them. This happened with family members' cats. The professional sitter was hired, paid, and had house keys. Family was out of country with no comms or internet for almost two weeks. They came back to very hungry and thirsty cats. Saving Grace was a large free feeder and they put out extra water. Please tell me they follow a police report for animal neglect. They closed their business after this. Good. Man. Like, I have a similar-esque story, except I wasn't smart enough to ask them to take care of it. I had like a little mini- I don't- I don't know where it is, but like at some point it was probably checkers or something. They had this thing where you have a thing of like compact soil or like fertilizer or whatever that if you add water to it, it expands and you get some you get like a, some seeds with it, right? And I got carrots and I was extremely proud of this carrot plant. Like my baby was growing, I had to transfer it to a whole different thing and everything, this little container. I was taking good care of that carrot. And then we left for some reason for like a week. And I hadn't asked the woman who was taking care of our house to take care of it for me. And I came back and it was dead and I was so devastated. Is this broken glass? Instead of toughened glass cracked, what could the reason be? It does not appear to be the result of impact. Our entire shower exploded. My 
God. Our entire shower exploded at one point due to pressure and tension in the construction. Luckily, nobody was inside the shower, thank God, but my girlfriend was in the bathroom next to it. The entire floor was covered in little shards of glass identical to the ones that have shattered in the photo above. <sighs> I'd rather have a dead carrot after a week than this. Although I will say I'm very tempted to tap it. I want to just like poke it and like see how hard I have to poke it until all the glass shatters and you know inevitably get like shards in my finger but it would be cool that also just looks like a really cool painting or something 1990 I wonder what inventions will exist in a hundred years 2019 pizza but everything is crust except the crust <laughs> I would do this what the f please no I don't like pizza crust crust the best part like I wish I liked it. I've, I don't think, oh, I mean, I probably have. I just don't remember, but like stuffed crust. I've probably had that and I just don't remember, but I'm not a big crust person. This is terrible, but really, really funny. And I really want to do this. <sighs> Anti-homeless bench with an advert to help the homeless. This is so trashy, but also you can like probably slip in between there. What is up with that? Like anti-homeless thing. What what point are you trying to prove other than you're an asshole? Like I've seen a bunch of those where it's like benches, but like with spikes on them. It's like, okay, great. Well, now nobody can use it. No kid should ever have to sleep on the streets, but they sure as hell aren't sleeping on our benches. I don't, I don't get this. Just let them sleep, and if it annoys you so much, make one specifically for homeless people or something. It doesn't take a lot to not be an asshole. It costs you nothing. This is more effort. This is so much unnecessary effort. And all it does is prove that you do not deserve everything that you have. Sharpie on the floor. I rent this place and need my deposit back. Uh toothpaste i've used toothpaste to remove permanent marker from plastic before isopropyl this just use alcohol yeah just get drunk and don't worry about it if this is yours you're a piece of shit. that's the wrong your but um why what is this my sister's cheat sheet for an upcoming exam how does one even read this how are you gonna hide that is my first thing Ah, you cheated yourself out of the opportunity to cheat by working hard. I'm not smart enough to even comprehend this. I mean, good on your sister. I would have given up so quickly. <laughs> well, then what the f*** is it? Exit, not an exit. Uh, 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 Schrodinger's exit. What the... My sister asked me to get two boxes of the same brownie mix, same color and picture. Bruh. This is trashy. It's trashy. Is there any difference other than like this part? I don't know if the, if my, cause I'm recording on my phone. I don't know if you can hear my laptop. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like it's about to take off. Anyways, this is, I hope it was the same amount. I see no issue. It'll be delightful regardless. Mix the brownie mixes for ultimate chocolate triple fudge. Now I want to go find those brownie mixes and try this. It will be delightful regardless. I hope it was the same amount of money at the very least and that none of you are allergic to anything in there. <sighs> okay, I'm guilty of doing this. Just this kind of being mildly infuriating drives me nuts. I will- okay, also it's like two pieces. Is this two ply or something? I would leave it like this if there was nobody else in the house. Or if the other person in the house was annoying me and I wanted to annoy them. <coughs> the f- Pardon. I thought I had separated 50 eggs without breaking a yolk until I noticed one on the edge. No. Also, well freaking done. That- that is skillful. Why? If you're asking why have the gods forsaken this beautiful collection of unbroken yolks with one broken yolk, I have no idea. There is no god anymore and we're alone. <laughs> Yee-haw. Mahia, accidentally pressing this bus bell that is level height with my knee. Did you actually, or were you about to? Nia, I was coming here to say this. Here, have my free reward. You mean your free heart? 
been told to get that tattooed on my other knee, lol. You could draw it on a mark and nobody would notice because of the style of the first. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was a tattoo or not. I'm proud of you for this, but ooh. I hope you didn't actually. I would just think like it is possible and like could very easily accidentally happen. What runs through people's heads while deciding to vandalize places like this? I'm not attempting to pronounce that. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, this is very good quality. Thank you. I thought these were like ship names, which is why I brought that up, but like that as well. Why? I don't know. I, that... I personally don't like that, but maybe they have their reasons that if I was aware of them would be understandable. Sweetie, Bob, Mark, and Wade on an episode of Distractable, probably about how humanity is bad. I think they spoke about this, and especially Bob. Because he worked at, like, uh, fast food places or something. And, like... Excuse the pun, but this is trashy. Honey, why? Why? It was... You You had one job. You had one job. So I'm adjusting to the match. Wait, fridge doors can be adjusted? Adjust them? Can you adjust them? <laughs> chill. Wait, can you adjust fridge doors? I hope so, because this is annoying me a lot. This gosh darn shelf- Oh, you are asking for that to fall- You are- This looks like a place I've been in. It's- It's not. Like, I highly doubt it is. I'm pretty sure this is just somebody's house. Probably in a country that I've never been in. But, like, you are asking for all of this to fall off. You are asking for it. You are asking for it. Trypophobia warning? And also just like if you're the kind of person that gets itchy with a lot of like small closely packed bugs if it's not trypophobia because like this I, I can imagine this triggering trypophobia if not just like a lot of mosquitoes the only atm that has cash in my area of town had to wait in line behind the mosquitoes oh oh i hate that i'm pretty sure that atm is now senti sentient a blood sacrifice is required for your cash withdrawal Think twice about how badly you need those 20s. That feels like an analogy to capitalism. I'd rather be broke. Uh, seek for the veins. Now they are way itchier. What happened? I hate that so much. I'm getting off of this. That's very annoying. Illegal much? No worries, you two. Thank you for understanding. You are a very nice person. California. <laughs> oh, where are you from? <laughs> it's just, you are a very nice person. California. California is a very nice place. I live and work in New York. That's really cool. I love New York. Nice to meet you. My name is Teresa. What's your name? Sarah. You are a girl. I am. How old are you? 17. Ca Should have said you're a man. That seems funnier. <laughs> how did she- oh, this is something I would ask. Okay, like, I know this very creepy thing happened, but how did she get a picture of your background for your messaging? I would ask that. So, that's gross. That's gross. That person's gross. Wait, are there two images? Oh, there are two images. Madison, please send the cooperation information to my mailbox by next Tuesday. Thank you, this is Teresa. Sorry, wrong number. Oh, sorry, I need to check the number. I just checked the number and I made a typo. Hope it doesn't disturb your life. I'm so sorry. Have a nice Saturday. No worries, you too. Thanks for understanding. Ah, uh, so this is where it came from. Okay, so you posted it wrong. Okay, ugh, that's so creepy. That That's very creepy. So it was all of that and then went on to uh, being gross. I hate it. When the light does this to your book, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. You're just like trying to read. As the level moves more from a toy box to a trippy nightmare, we constricted the play space and maximized the art deco and surrealist influences with disembodied eyes and non use Euclid use I can't English. Geometric Geometry layered hands, geometric, I don't know, and it's playing staircases like a piano and period Apocalypse Oh Geometry layered appropriate microphone designs somehow tie the scene together through their disparity I don't know what I just read, but I managed to read it seems to happen when you're doing a bit of light reading. Oh, this is pretty. This isn't annoying me. I'm assuming this is the problem. This ruined my evening. 
this is because it's isolated there's like more to this but because this is isolated just like in this one photo because it's just isolated this feels fine to me like this doesn't bother me because it's like oh cool geometry shape I'm, I really love the Professor Layton series. If you don't know the games or like the movie, I've watched the movie way too many times. But if you've seen those, it's all about like puzzle solving. And you could very easily get a puzzle like this where you'd have a bunch of these and you'd have to like move them all to be like one pattern. This even looks like a pattern you would get. But if I was out just in the middle of the night, yeah, this would ruin. This would ruin my evening as well. Because you have a whole other road to see and then it's just this one area. It's not like a common thing. That's annoying. Bruh, pop that shit out with a screwdriver and 180 then. Ah, uh, Some- I don't know how to pronounce that word. Left an onion box of cheese and crushed on this pog pinch overnight. I was in the botanical gardens- Oh, uh, excuse me. I was in the botanical gardens at some point, And there's like this patch of- I think aloe plants? I don't know. There's just like this- there's this patch. It's like this little garden, like a mini garden within the gardens. Within the gardens, you have like thing for the mushrooms, and then there's this one that I think is specifically for aloe plants or something. But you you can go through the path, and it's really delightful. And there's a little bench in the middle of it, and somebody just left like McDonald's or something like on the bench, just like there. There was nobody there. I think they finished the food or something. This is trashy. Again, excuse the pun. What the- <laughs> Seems to be the year some characters you as a child here are the corpses! Oh no! Why? I thought this was funny at first because I thought this bird was just being dramatic. <sighs> lower it. Oh my god, please lower the G. Please lower the G. <laughs> the different G placements- Please lower the G. Oh, please lower the G. This is primo mildly infuriating content. What I come here for? Chef's kiss. The G has been changed. Given what it says, maybe it's intentional. Now I'm mildly infuriated. I didn't notice that. What? That it might be intentional? Or what? Oh, this was like just a few minutes ago. All of this. Oh, because this was posted like an hour ago. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. What? Is that pineapple and non-pineapple eaters? We have to put our aside our differences because we have a common enemy now. Sorry, let me read this better. Pineapple and non-pineapple eaters, we have to put aside our differences because we have a common enemy now. This is beyond frustrating. I thought I was tripping. I thought that was like molding pineapple. Those are kiwis. One of my mom's friends ate banana on pizza and like, enjoy what you want. Don't get upset when I don't want to enjoy it. And I'm, I, I did not want to enjoy that. And I didn't, even after I took the pineapple off, because the taste still stays there. Yes, we are you are you team pineapple or team non pineapple? I'm team pineapple. Used to be my favorite. And then I found out about like barbecue chicken and um and now I now I really want pizza. Uh we shall put a, a aside our differences, Jay. Tenth letter. That took me way too long to read. Well, this is gonna be it for R slash mildly infuriating. I need something happier. I need something happier that isn't gonna make me angry, so um I, I guess I'll just- I'll just see you in the next one. Don't be like these people. <sighs> Please. <laughs> Peace. I don't like that. What is this? Oh, is this promoted? Never mind. I'm an idiot. We'll cut that out.